Hey YouTube Texas Blades here. So today's video is going to be a continuation on the uh, Mora knockoff versus the Mora 511. And what this is, of course, this is the Mora 511. And this is the Wahoo Killer from Bud K. This one, blemished version, grade B knife. Uh, we paid less than seven dollars for it. I just can't remember right what it was. It was six something. And then this one we paid a dollar ninety nine for from Bud K. Uh, last contest or <laughs> the last comparison video we did, uh, the Mora blade was you know like I said uh, a lot better. However, the handle took this one, and then the shake test. not going to do it this time, of course, uh, but the Mora lost out on the sheath and the shake test over this one. It fell out quite a few times last time. Uh, I don't know if I was just shaking them harder or what. There it goes. See, so see, I had to jolt them pretty hard, but again, the Wahoo Killer took it. Uh, so it was, you know, the best part of a knife, the blade, the more it took, you know, hands down. So today we're going to do a couple more tests at it, uh, or with it. We're going to do a cut test on some, just some paper, you know, the paper cut test everybody likes. Uh, and then, well, I guess not everybody likes it because I don't. But we're going to try it anyway, and then we're going to try to throw a spark off this thing off of a cheap, staying in line with the cheapness people, uh, a cheap. Harbor Freight, Flint, Magnesium. So we're going to see which one throws a better spark and which one cuts paper a little bit better. Uh, we're going to run in quite a few of these videos on the test. We're going to test it. Uh, eventually we're going to be doing some batoning and some, you know, some light bushcraft type stuff. Uh, so we're going to start out with the Wahoo Killer. Uh, this one has been sharpened by me. It takes the hair off of you, so it's pretty sharp. And you can see I did not uh, sharpen it like a Scandinavian grind should be sharpened. I did a micro micro grind, micro bevel, whatever. Uh, that's just because this grind is insanely off, and it would have took a lot to actually sharpen it that way. So it feels like. it's more ripping it than anything and once you get to right here obviously I have a burr somewhere right here is catching the paper or up here rather so you can see it just stops cutting And, you know, it should be slicing through it a lot better than that. Uh, and you can blame that on my sharpening skills, but I sharpen this one the same way I sharpen uh, any knife. And most of my knives are razor sharp, so uh, I'm going to say that it's the blade itself. Alright, so I'm using a piece of paper from the same magazine, so it should be the same thickness. And it's not super thick, people. Try the Mora. This is the Mora 511. Oh man, it's like a razor. So I'm going to give it to the Mora that round, hands down. Like I said, I could show you both these knives will uh, shave hair off my arm. 
uh, but I already kind of look like I have the mange or something from testing knives, so <laughs> I don't really want to do it. Uh, but both of them are pretty sharp. This one, uh, it cut it, but it was felt like the blade was more teared into it than it was cutting it. And it's a fine blade. I don't feel any burrs on it. Uh, I don't know why it was sticking up here because this part actually feels a little bit smoother than down here. Uh, but it's a nice, it's sharp. Uh, this is what I use in my tackle box for cut bait. So you know it's kind of sharp. It's got to be, you know, cutting through fish. So fish bone, everything else. Uh, next test, we're going to throw some sparks with it. And we're going to start off with the mora. So you can't say it's not the angle because I just went all the way through the angles and I'm not getting even just a little bit of spark off of it. So the more backbone, not so good for throwing sparks. That surprises me. Wahoo killer. Again, this is high carbon still. This is cheap china stainless still. So. Wahoo killer, hands down, took that test. Uh, and again, that's not the most important thing in a knife when it comes to me because I use lighters. Uh, that's just me. Matches, lighters, work better. Uh, you know, I know I understand that's something that runs out, and that's why I carry this as a backup, but I don't too often use it uh, unless I would have to. It's just going to stay packed away. That one was used because I was playing with it a lot uh, and just testing different things out with it. Uh, so it's been used, but so let's see. We did the cut test, Mora one, uh, Wahoo Killer one on the uh, throwing a spark test. Let's see the sheath and handle. I'm going to give to the Wahoo Killer. So that's and then the blade. The first time we gave it to the Mora, of course. Uh, so that's what two to two or two to three. Two to two, two to three, somewhere in there. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out on the next video, uh, which is going to be feathering, batoning, cutting. Uh, we're going to be doing some spears, stuff like that. Just some cool stuff that's fun to do when you're out and about, uh, out camping or whatever. So we're going to do some of those uh, with these knives and see what they'll do then. That's going to be good for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.